summary of the last lecture so what is exactly the software software is the set of programs yes exactly software is the set of programs and program is the set of instructions so whatever we will write in the program that is called instruction and the set of programs will become a software we will see what is the process of program development so whenever we want to develop any program so what is the process we need to follow what is the standard process so we will get better result process of i will also write here so you have to write with me process of program development so first is the user requirement so whenever you will start the program so you need to understand what is the exactly requirement you need to uh, uh, do a rough work on that what is my input and how, what i will need to give output so what is exactly the uh, uh, user requirement like a problem analysis if you find in any difficulty or anything in the requirement phase so clear your requirement first in your mind you then after next step is the problem analysis once your requirement is ready so you have to do problem analysis so inside input how you will do these things and another you can say this is the what is exactly the problem so we will see each and everything so you have to write down these things only process of program development how we will do a requirement understanding how we will do the problem analysis then after we will do the determine input and output so what is my input and what i need to give output this is the main important task then after design algorithm so design algorithm so you need to do a flow chart like that uh, what is my input then which things i need to do in my code and then next step is so you have to do step by step what is what i will do first what i will do second so each and everything you will learn so that's why i am not giving you in detail then program coding so here your coding will start once you will do a uh, program coding then next step is the testing and debugging the program so you need to test your program is correctly written is there any bug so is there anything hidden problem is many many time you faced or not faced you will see so if there is many hidden problem that because of that reason we have to do a testing and debugging of the program at the last you have to do program documentation so guys this is the standard process of program development so first so here you will see in this class you will face the small small program once you complete e all the things you need to develop big project so once you start your project at that time you need to clear each and everything first then you start the program coding so first is the requirement phase so once user will give the requirement so what is exactly your requirement what things you need to do and second step i is problem analysis so what is the exactly problem and this period you need to find your requirement is clear or not if your requirement is clear not clear so you have to again ask to your requirement provider 
what is exactly the requirement uh, because in the problem analysis phase you will find the, uh, here i will get difficulty and all things so these things are not clear for me like that way and third is the determine input and output what is exactly your input and what the outputs you need to give once all things clear you need to make one algorithm so and then after you need to develop the code so before developing the code what what things you need to do that uh, algorithm is needed and then after you have to start your coding and again you will not do in one go so you have to do testing and de debugging the program so this is continuous cycle will running once your code is ready then after you have to do program documentation and release your code so next we will move to the what is exactly the flow in hardware software and os so this is your hardware above hardware your os is running and above os you need compiler so what is exactly compiler so you will write your code in the dot c format in c language so once you write your code dot c and you have to dot c is user understandable language c language is the user understandable not machine understand machine understand only binary language so you need to convert dot c to dot exe for that you need compiler so compiler will do the dot c to the dot exe what are the compiler stages we will see later so because of that reason in the so i will start from here suppose you have intel processor so i will write as example x86 so os is your windows In, in the Windows OS, your native compiler, default compiler is Turbo C. So Turbo C is your native compiler. For Windows OS. Next, suppose you are using the I will take example at the processor Intel itself and your OS is the Linux OS. So in the Linux OS, your compiler is used GCC compiler. And GCC compiler that full form is the GNU compiler collection. So that developed by the GNU and that full form is the GCC GNU compiler collection. So that is the Linux uh, is OS is used. So these are the native compiler of that particular OS. Suppose you are using the any other microcontroller. Suppose 8051 microcontroller. Your OS is Windows. And you are using the Kale ID. And then your dot c file so here kl is your compiler this is for 8051 so kl is your compiler that is called cross compiler why it is cross compiler that is not provided by os and that is third party compiler we are using so because of that reason we, it's called a cross compiler so kale is the id so id that means the integrated development environment
so id that means uh, we will use id in the vs code vs code is itself id so that is means integrated development environment there you will find each and everything available there so no need to go for the turbo c compiler and first you have to write code any other place and like that each and everything is available at one place so that is the user friendly environment they have developed because of that integrated development environment okay these all are the basic things you need to know before starting or learning language what environment you are using and like that and one more thing we have seen in last lecture that is the two types of languages one is called low level languages and another one is called high level languages and our c is the middle level languages low level languages that means machine can understand only binary language zero and one so that is called low level languages so that's called machine understandable language but we are not able to write program in only zero and one yes something what is difference between com cross compiler and native compiler okay so native compiler is the provided by os itself so windows os os itself provided the turbo c compiler that is called native compiler but kl is not provided by windows so we are third party we are installing the compiler that is called a cross compiler okay thank you okay so machine understandable language is the low level language by we are not able to write code in the binary language 0 and 1 and it is very hard to write and like that because of that reason they find the solution at the first level is the assembly level language so assembly level language is the nearby the machine level language so we can do a move addition subtraction like that way so that is the reason they developed the assembly level language but also assembly level language is not that much user friendly and like our high level language or middle level language because of that reason they find the c programming language and c language is the user friendly language because we can easily understand and we can easily do command and like that what is things here do did and we can easily debug that code okay so you have installed vs code in your system yes mm -hmm. uh yogin i have to ask one thing um, yes uh we are using gcc in windows also right means uh, uh in the your tutorial also uh, there is yes GCC yes I, so, I will explain you yeah we are using in windows gcc compiler in third party in vs code okay <laughs> yes so, so how in to Linux install it is uh, means uh, like uh, by default or in a compulsory yeah, I... way and in windows it is a third party right yes in linux okay. it's okay. in terminal itself is available okay. gcc compiler yes. yes okay thank you if anyone have not installed so i will again give you path and all things so you have to search first visual studio in your google then you have to go to first link there and you have to download from here visual studio windows mac and linux so here windows x64 user installer once you click here so it will start downloading it automatically i will pause here and here they have given the steps also how to download the vs code and introductory videos also and uh, i have also explained how to do so in my youtube channel you will go so in the playlist you will find hashtag to so, uh, install and configure vs code and compiler in c so, this video you will find each and every steps and everything i have explained how to install and how to configure and after installing this vs code 
you need to search in Google VS Code in C. Then first link. You have to install this extension. I will show how to install and all things. Then install a compiler. You can see here install a compiler. Install a compiler. They have give example of install min gw x64. So this is the min gw is providing as the native build of GCC. So it is providing as the GCC compiler because of min GW x64 once we will install and we will give path in our environment variable. So how to do this all things environment variable path and all things so steps is here. So then after you can use GCC compiler in Windows also. So min GW is providing the GCC compiler for Windows. So like that way, so I will open VS code here or in not open folder. I will start new window. So it, it is like uh, in your system. Once you install same window will open. I will close this window. So this window you will get once you install your VS code in your system and uh, then after you will install the GCC compiler in your system. Then after this window will come in your system so here you have to do open a folder so we have to make our one folder so i have written here batch january 2022 i will make here one new folder i will write here my programs like that way you can give any name and here i will select folder so there is the blank folder that's why here we will not able to see any files then after you have to go here extensions so in the extensions you have to install c and c plus plus so you have to search here c dash c plus plus so c c plus plus this extension is already installed in my system so you have to install this uh, extension in your system. OK. Then once you will install. I will close each and everything and go to here Explorer. So here this is your programs folder and here in the first you can make new file here you can make new folder inside that programs so i will write here new file and i will write here hello world dot c file so my file name is hello world and dot c is the extension for the c language so whenever we will write c language code we will write here dot c so this is my blank page will open once I will start. So guys, still now you have any question for the installing and all things? Don't. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. So here you have to first line of your code is hash include stdio.h. Once you will include .h file, that means just a second i have to open one epic pen for that mm. so once you will write as include stdio.h the stdio that means that is the standard input output file so why we are including this so we will see in after this run this code and dot h is the extension for the header file so it is de taking data from the library that is the library name is standard input output dot h and that is available inside the compiler and in the compiler stages we will see use of that so stdio that full form is standard input output file and dot h is the header file and then i will write here my main function 
what is exactly the main function? So in C language, our code will start with one function. So we need that function. That function name is called a main function. So whenever you will see thousands of line code or the thousands of file available in your program anytime. So your code will start with main function only in anywhere. So first thing is your code will start with the main function ceiling C language need one function for starting that code and that function is called main function. So we will develop our own function also later in this core course, but your code will always start with the main function. So this is main function and in C language. Code. Always. Start with main function. OK, we'll erase this. And I need to display hello world.c. So here I will write printf. Hello world. Dot dot. And here semicolon. So every time you have to write semicolon, there are some rules. Some cases you have not write uh, semicolon, but generally 99% cases in C language when we complete our task and instruction at the last we have to write semicolon. So these are the standard rules of that. Once you complete so our hello world code is complete. Now I will go here and press right click and right click there. You need to open in integrated terminal. So this is integrated terminal is like same as Mac OS and uh, you can see in uh, Linux terminal. So here this is my path where I make so in the D drive I make one folder based January 2022 and inside that I have make folder is programs here. How many files available in this folder programs folder? So there is one command is called LS. Once I will write LS and press enter, so it will show in this directory one program is available and that program length is 65 words are available inside that. And that name is lowell.c. Once I need to first step is the do after dot C, I need to compile my code. Once I will compile for compiling, we have to write GCC space hello world.c so you can see here it generated a dot exe file so it convert my dot c file to exe format then after i have to write here dot slash a dot exe so dot slash that means my a dot exe file i need to run so I have not here written dot. And I will press enter so it will run my code and it will print here. Hello world. Suppose I have to write here. Print up. Hello, good morning. So once I have completed my dot C file, what are the next steps? I need to compile again compile my code because in this executable file only hello world uh, compilation is there not hello hello good morning so again i need to compile my code for that in this shortcut keys you have to press above arrow you have four arrow available in your keyboard so you have to press above or down arrow so you can do like that well so what are the command we have used that will so i can use easily shortcut for that above command gcc hello world dot c then again i will do dot slash a dot exe my code is run hello world and hello good morning so this is in same line suppose i have to do in next line so here you have to write slash n slash n that means it next things whatever you will do that will print on next line so slash line is a 
shortcut for that uh, you have whenever you need to print on next line so for that you need to write slash n at the end so this is the type qualifier okay till now any question guys So write down this code and these commands in your book. Okay, um, I have a question for you, Yogan. Yes, so, yes. What is the difference between int main and void main? I mean, under which circumstances do we use int and under which conditions do we use void? Mm -hmm. So uh, in the functions, you will understood clearly when we start our functions at that time. What is exactly that main, in main and uh, int main or void main? int that means whenever we write functions that before that part so this is my return type uh -huh. then function name so this is the standard and then after bracket there is the parameter so you will see when we will start the function at that time so integer and void is the return type suppose i will write here integer integer main so what happened in the compiler compiler is calling the main function when it start the code when I, I will execute the code it will start to in main function so it is expecting in return something mm, suppose right. i will write here void suppose i will write here void that means it will not expect accepting anything from the main function oh makes sense got it okay yeah void that means null that means uh, it will not expecting when we write so in the standard process if i have not written here written anything so it will by default return zero zero that means there i need to end my code got it cool yep thank you okay so i have not written here so it by default send when my code is end at that zero otherwise i will write here written zero hmm. okay so guys if you not understood these terms and all things don't worry we will see later in the functions itself you will clearly understand each and every things about that return and the integer and all things when you understand completely functions so don't worry about all that so every time you need to compile your code first and then after you need to run that executable file so this is our hello world is our first program we will do only this program only today we will not go in another program and like that way today so next so this part is written in your book uh yogin i have a question here yes uh, what was the use of the uh, include file that we added uh, in the uh, execution of this code yes so this answer i will give you tomorrow because once i will give you that is the part of compiler stages so in the compilation i will do gcc hello world dot c there is the four stages inside that so inside that you will understood what is the part of that has include files so for as of now for shortcut hint i will give you this is standard input output file there all the library what is exactly printf printf is the functions that functions uh, definition is available inside the this file so whatever by default user function we are using that uh, function provided by the compiler we need to include that file okay so in the compiler stages, you will clearly understand what is the role of that file. Uh, hello. Yes. And uh, can you please explain the meaning of this return zero means uh, without that the code will not execute. Is it so? No, no, no. Without that code is execute. Return zero. That means if I have not mm -hmm. written here zero. OK, so mm -hmm. I will remove the code. So by default, it mm -hmm. is taking as a zero once we our program will complete. Because I have written here integer main. Mm -hmm. And why integer okay. main? Because 
uh, when we execute file so inside that library main function is called it is written something from main function okay mm -hmm. so we are not giving anything so we will write standard process written zero but if okay. we have not written written zero then also my code will compile and it will run also no nothing will happen okay. but okay. standard process you have to write written zero okay so maybe my uh, another another error should be there because if uh, i have not written that written zero my code was not getting executed so yeah no is because of the your uh, id so inside the id is there are some standard functions they have, they have written and they have written that they are expecting something so please write that so mm -hmm. that is depends on your id i have written but in the standard okay. c there is no needed okay <laughs> Okay, because VS Code is day to day implemented. My VS Code is little bit old, and your little uh -huh. your code is new. Maybe because of that reason, they have improved compulsory write written zero here. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So next, we will move to the basic structure of C language. So basic structure. So I have written hello world C file. So any dot C file. So this is the strand standard structure. So we have not used uh, everything. So you have to do like that way. Bigger bigger box in your book. I will not complete here. And first is the. include the header files so first step is the include header files we have included standard input output dot h file next step is the function prototype or function declaration so this we will see later but this is the steps so function prototype or function declaration and then after global variables this is also we will see later what is the global variables and what is the local variables so inside the any function we have written any variable so we will see what is variable and all things that is called local and before main function and before the functions we will write that is called global variables so we will see later don't worry about of that and then after minimum one function your code minimum one function that is main function so inside main function there is the local variables there is our code logic so here we have not developed any logic so we have written only the print f hello world and like that way so each and everything will came then return type return function that is called so this is complete here And then after last is the function body. 
so we will see our user defined function that will come here that is called function body so this is our total program structure i will do little bit like this so this is our completely program structure so in complete course we will see this is the rules we will follow first we will include the header files then we will declare the functions and prototypes that functions um, definition is available in inside function body here and what is this we will see in the case of functions then global variables then minimum one function needed that is main function so main functions inside that local variable logic printf anything we will do and then that is the return functions and that is the function here we will complete and next is the function body whatever the function we have declared that function definition body is available here so what is exactly that don't worry about of that just now written in the course later you will understood when we came to the function part what is exactly function declaration and what is function body and like that so guys now we will move to the comments so there is two types of comment in c language first i will write here comments so first one is the single line comment and second one is the multiple line comment so what is exactly comment what i have written here here i have written print hello world suppose my end user as uh, some new person will come and that need to understand what i did here and what things so for user instruction we are writing the comments so for single line comment we are writing like this double slash and then whatever we are writing that is that will be commented part that will not compile so that will not execute that file at the compiler studies stages it will remove and multiple line comment i will write slash star and then after i will write here whatever the comments in the multiple lines and at the last i will write star slash so slash star and star slash in between whatever we will write that is the commented part so that is the multiple line comments and this is the single line comments so suppose i will write here double slash print hello world so this part is came in my id green color so this will not execute this is commented part whatever i will write in this line that is completely commented and suppose i have to write multiple line command so i will write here slash star and star slash in between that print hello world and print good morning like that way i am giving the user instruction in multiple lines so like this we have multiple line comment and this is the single line comment so i will cover this part today only and compilation stages we will see tomorrow so what is exactly has include stdio.h that uh, radhika asks so stdio.h is the standard library that is the standard input output and printf return return type h and everything we have written so how that uh, program know this function is called and go to where so if you press in your id if you are using uh, vs code so you can press control and then select printf so it is go inside the stdio.h and inside the stdio.h each and everything is available function body of that printf so this is my printf function and this is like that way this is readable format that's why it's a little bit blur 
understood so every functions that by default provided by c language that is available inside that particular header file so standard input output like that where all things available so all the functions are provided it is body is available here so we will see some functions in this course how to open that file press control in your keyboard and then select this mm -hmm. via mouse but you have to select install this depth. yes but this uh, okay. compiler is installed in your system then only you can able to undo this so you can see that file is available in this path in my directory so what is the role of that file that is the consist of header file declaration so function declaration so what are my functions or oh, each and everything is available inside that function definition declaration structure declaration type def so i'll write here so what is inside that uh, file available that function declaration definition so that function declaration and definition available there so what we are doing here here we are calling the function so printf i am calling that printf function and i need to print hello world so it will when i will do that part it will go to that printf function and printf function will do their work and that will print in my system so like this way the, it will work so when we call function it will go to that function definition part and then after it will return back to here so we will see that part what is exactly the function call and all things don't worry about of that so that is behind logic so same similar way we will make our own functions also then after it is doing the structure declaration so we will see what is structure and how to declare structure so inside that library needed that is structure declaration type def enums defines so hashtag define is the macro enums so what is that macro and all things we will see union all thing definition and declaration and everything is available inside this file so guys that's it for today we will see tomorrow what is the compilation stages how uh, we did gcc lol.c so that directly generated a.exe so what is inside that so we will see that four stages of that compilation process then how many types of errors and we will go to the data types and like that way in the step by step in this course so in today's class you have any question uh yogin i have a question here uh, can we make our own header files yes yes we can able to make our own header files we will see at the time of files concept in this course how to make our own header files and how to use that user defined header files and user defined uses so we will see that part in the file concept okay then addition to it i have one more question because when we said that dot uh, h file includes the function declaration and its definition and also while we check the basic structure in there also we said that we uh, do the function declaration or definition then what is the difference between these two so in the stdio dot h file that is the by default provided by the compiler and in the structure i have whatever written is the user defined functions okay so we will make our own functions that de definition and declaration we need to do by ourselves so hmm. that is because of that reason but then in case if we create our own dot h files then declaration will be present in that dot h files or in the function itself so inside dot h file what you need to include and what you need to do at the time we will see 
and you will understood if I will give you uh, today itself. So you will get confused and other people also will get confused. Okay. So you will understood each and every things how to make our own functions and how to do inside dot h file when we have to use dot h file and how to do each and everything we will see in, in this course. Okay. So thanks a lot. I will see you tomorrow and please do a revision of today's class and make your own hello world.c file and run this code in your system. If you find any difficulty, please feel free to ask in groups and you can directly write a message to me also. OK, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you. Good day. Thank you. Bye.